Let's talk DIY charger discharger again. It's Chuck's here. Um, I just saw the latest video by Brett. Um, I'm not very good at putting putting references, but I'll leave it underneath. I'd like to do that and just say do this. But if anyone knows how to do that, leave me a comment. It'd be great. Um, I need a Dallas sensor put in there. I'm missing a couple of Dallas sensors. I'm probably all up three Dallas sensors I need. And that will probably almost complete this task. The other thing I've got to do is I've got to cut... I've got to cut um, just above the 2.2k uh, line. Uh, I haven't got the video or the diagram, but it's on his website, on Brett's website. I need to cut that so that I can get rid of um, one of the voltages because it's shorting the 5 volts to the 3.3 on that. Don't know why they done that, but anyway, it's done. Next thing I need to do is flip the whole thing over to the other side. And if you notice, this is where my, my main bank is coming off to the bottom of it. And I've got a heap of, or oh, four of these. Now in Brett's one, it's very well done and it's got some wonderful music. I wish I had the music. Um, and these are way too long to do that. So I'm just going to measure them from there up to pin two there, or I suppose it's pin two. Might not be pin two because I don't know where the dot is on the bloody thing. Let's see if we can see that. Um, anyway, it's the second one down on the right and two there. And that's all I have to do. So the other thing I noticed when putting these in, I tried to solder them after the fact on this one and it just came out which isn't what I wanted it to do but I'll pop it back in there in a second I'll be doing it in, during the video because I'll probably miss it oh no I might get it so yeah that's in there these other ones I just popped the I used blue t blue tack to pop the uh, original pins in which were the okay we're back these are virtually used for chips and cut them one by one off. I found that putting my finger in front of it stop it from flying off into the distance is probably the best way to do it and just using a small pair of um, pliers, cut off L side snips. Then after I've popped them in using some blue tack and holding them down. Then I pop these in straight away. So this bit here that I'm with my finger I'm rubbing is the part that goes in and the other side will get soldered in. You have to be careful because they can, you want to try and leave a bit of plastic on them as you cut them. You've got to keep them straight and then cut them off and then pop them into the board. Then once you've done that, then you get your uh, TP18650, not the two pin two um, chip type but the one chip type and sold that solder them all in and then all you have to do now is put the wires in and that'll be finished so pretty much I'm near the ending of my first first um, board now points to note don't use those um, FETs try and use the surface mount ones I've got to get some surface mount uh, stuff and that's about it um, you could change over and use Brett's idea for um, attaching the resistors as well which is a great idea I've done it a different uh, different way to build it but it seems to be working for me uh, don't forget that um, you've got to make sure this pin here when you're soldering it it might be better to flow solder it or put some sort of glue solder onto it because it is not working properly and that's straight from the factory so that's a problem in itself and that's about it so I'll finish cutting the uh, USB uh, device or the host and putting it back in there and get these wires on and that'll be it and that's it for the today I haven't done anything on the weekend I went out gold detecting and no I did not find any gold Anyway, if you like this video, um, please subscribe 
please follow me and follow Brett. Uh, Brett was the one that designed this and should get the accolades. I'm only a hack, hacking away at trying to put this together. Alright, thanks, see ya.